Hello again. Most of the videos I do, uh, the grafting videos, are the ones that people like most. And today I have a sample of what needs to get done, especially at this time of the year. We are in February 11 in South Florida. These two trees were grafted on January 9th. Today is February 11. It's a little bit over 30 days. This one here, it's flushing really well, getting through the power film without any problems. This is alive and well, but it doesn't seem to be moving. And it's now time for us to do something. At this time of the year, I place these trees in about an hour to an hour and a half of morning sun. So now what I'm going to do, since it's warming up, I'm going to uh, get them ready and to push a little bit more. And I'm going to cut both like this. And then I'm going to put them in full sun. We're going to come back in like seven, ten days later, and we'll see how they are doing. I may not remove the tape. These were not power, these were not body tape, regular nylon tape. I'm just going to leave it in for another five, six days to whenever we visit them after going to into the full sun. By the way, this one's going to get repotted like right now. This has been repotted. Now it's going to go straight into the full sun. And in about seven, eight days, we'll look at them again to see what the full sun did to these four pieces of boardwood that have been grafted over a month ago. Back in uh, February 11, we had these trees in the uh, morning sun, one or two hours, and they started to break the paraffin and started flushing. So what we did, we put them out in our sun pad where I got my full sun material. And since then, now today, um, March 7, less than 30 days, it's like an explosion of growth. So what we are going to do now is we are going this way, trials. I usually like to keep my uh, graph closer to the ground as possible. But in this case, we are going to clean them up and put it back outside again. But as you can see, the sun is not your enemy when you're grafting. It's just that at this time of the year that it's not scorching hot, uh, you could use the sun to accelerate the growth of your uh, budwood. This one in particular is doing really well. Both are even. So uh, I'm showing you a close-up of it. We're just going to clean up a bit. We are going to... Uh, remove the uh, plastic tape and we're going to tie it up. Uh, the other one here, uh, for some reason, this is going very slow and this is going very fast. Uh, I probably would like to keep this one rather than this one, but again, we're going to clean them up and uh, we are going to uh, try to uh, let this one grow a little bit more to see if we can keep this one versus Same with this, there are some uh, shoots in the main, in the uh, rootstock, we get rid of them. And then we do the same thing that we did with the other one. Just to show you, this was grafted 16 days ago. We're still on March 7th. Uh, this is the time of the year. Uh, this was a failed graft from December. So we took the advantage. This grew back a bit again, and then we regrafted. And uh, this has been like in a three hour morning sun schedule. And it's going to go now into full sun. 
because, as you can see, the uh, uh, graph is breaking the power film already. So now we want as much energy as possible. Uh, we clip the top a little bit more and take them back in the sun. Everything is back in the full sun pad that I have. Um, the lesson to learn is don't be afraid of the sun, especially from January to the middle of March, you can experiment and you can make the sun work for you uh, in the grafting process. Good luck.